Welcome back to Copper Thoughts Cards, and today we have another blind SGC reveal, and we are going through the 2023 Topps Chrome cards. Now, I did submit these back on the 29th of September, and just as they prided themselves, I received these back in about 10 business days. Just got it back about 20 minutes ago in the mail. And my information is on the top, so I'm going to take a quick break and see whoa, who that is texting me. And also, just to get inside the box, submitted 10 cards, Topps Chrome. Um, I thought they all looked good, as we all do. But the most impressive aspect is that they promised uh, 5 to 10 days for $9 for a grading fee. And one of the cards, which was a Corbin... Uh, uh, Corbin Corson rookie it was uh, for some reason listed down as authenticate not for grading purposes and I'm in Target and the SGC representative called me and said hey just want to make sure that you want this authenticated or graded and I said yeah of course please grade it so they said they're going to change it and they'll get back to me with my grade so there inside i'm just gonna get inside to the real box and then i'll be right back to get to the grades and the reveal can't wait welcome back we're now inside the box of course we have the sgc authentication grading services paraphernalia uh, the app is great i do just wish they had a qr code on each card i'll explain later kind of like psa and uh, cgc have but here's our tuxedo and oh it's nice and heavy heavy means good grades right <laughs> now mainly these were base that i sent but i mean like i said for nine dollars a card and if these come back with good grades like i think they should I anticipate sending maybe two more to them by the end of the month. It does appear on their website that this $9 special does extend until the 27th of October at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. So uh, if you're into flipping cards or just getting these cards graded, now that it doesn't extend to all Topps cards, it's only the 2023 Topps Chrome. So there is that, but enough of this. Let's see what's in here. Good. looks like everything did get graded. Awesome. Also, awesome. Just bear with me. I have a little sheet. We'll just use this one. another air freshener of the logo of the company keep it pushing me too. Shake these out. try not to get my information obviously on camera or see the back oh there's a the Corbin Carroll right there on the back so let's start there a lot Ooh, it's a nice stack of graded cards so i sent off 10 uh with tax and shipping fee with everything i want to say for the 10 cards at the nine dollars it came to about like 130 140 something like that but let's see what we got let's see i have some more stand-ups for some tens hopefully and first we have up is the Corbin Carroll card 95. Let's get this on camera. And yeah, it looked good. I don't know. So let's see what we got. We got a 10. Nice. All right. It's a good way to start. Let's go. Next up, we have a Miguel Cabrera. Now, I got this one graded because, well, he's a modern legend. Say what you will about him. His career is what it is. 
another Hall of Famer. This is going to be his last playing card, uh, or last card while he's playing. It looked pretty good going in, so we'll see. It's a 10. Let's go. Beautiful. Yeah, these Topps Chromes were very nice. As you see, I have the wax here. Well, those were more just plastic. The Series 2 were cool, but these Chrome ones, I'm definitely going to get going to be buying them going forward now i did send up two so this one should be the cephia i can't tell on the back um i wish it said sometimes they say refractor on it but we'll see this one here it is the cephia hope you guys can see that on the camera it's beautiful and this one got a 10 nice Wow. Next, another living legend, Yadi Molina. The backs all look to be pretty solid to me. Uh, this one was just a base, but once again, I know Cardinals fans and they're pretty passionate and they love this guy. It looked pretty good, so this one came out to be a 10. Wow. We are on fire. Wow. I'm going to run out of placards. Another one doing well in the playoffs. Actually, the team is. I don't know if he is. They just won 2 nothing last night over the Astros. And this Josh Young rookie card came out to be a... 10 beautiful and what's nice about this is that um it lets me know that my system <laughs> that i use to grade cards seems to be working on especially through sgc on this tops chrome 2023 so here is a bobby witt jr I love these with the old school cup on their rookie card. And this came out to be a 10. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. I definitely need more. <laughs> All right. Here's a Shinto Fuji. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing, mispronouncing names. But Shintaro, we're just going to call him by his first name, Shintaro. Uh, rookie card, awesome picture. Tops chrome, look good all the way around to me, pre-grading. So the, this one came out to be a 9.5. Okay. Now I'm like, why is it a 9.5? I don't know. It is a little, maybe a little off, but pretty good. We'll put this... We're only putting tens on the placards. <laughs> Here's a J-Rod or a Julio Rodriguez. And this one also. I thought it came out pretty solid. Let's see if this is also 10. This is a 10. Let's go. Ah, uh, now the problem with reselling. Do I keep some of these? <laughs> or do I sell them all? We shall see. Here's another. Joey Manessis from the Nats. And once again, I love the cups on them. We thought it looked good all the way around. Maybe this is a 9.5. It does look a little fat on the left. So, um, let's see. Hey, I was right. Okay, I'll take a 9.5. And the last one. I like how we save the best for last. <clears throat> Everyone knows about the MVP buyback program. Uh, based on the card, if the player you have wins the MVP. This is just a base Acuna. And I said, you know what? 
I wonder how much they'll take at the local card shop <laughs> if it's graded. So it looked good. So let's see what we get. This is a 10. What a way to end it. Nice. Oh, let's get my thumb in there. Nice. Oh, yeah. Wow. What a submission. Um, I'm very happy with this, obviously. And you know what? I have some time. There's only eight minutes in. Let me show you what I'm sending in next. Like I said, I've been buying these blaster packs. Pretty, pretty good investment <laughs> so far. I'll let you know the stats once I put these on to sell. Um, most of these cards were going for in gem and nines or just gem nine PSA that is on a sports card pro. A number of them were going for at least twenty five to thirty dollars. Uh, some of these people are doing good in the playoffs, and I would think their value should increase going forward. Oops, kicked the camera a little bit. But, wow. One second. Did it twice. <laughs> these are what I'm going to be sending in next. Pull it on Anthony Volpe. Get a good look at that. It's pretty nice. Yankee fans are, well, they're everywhere. <laughs> also, Michael Harris Jr., or the second, rather. Beautiful. Braves did not fare well in the playoffs. The Phillies got them. How about that? Keep it in the NL East, I said. Also, we're going to be sending in a Gunnar Henderson. I don't know how these grade, obviously. There's no borders. But... I went off the tops of the RC and the chrome and on the bottom with the little <coughs> with the card, the grading tool that everyone uses. Here is another one. He had a great game, but the Phillies just got him. Spencer Strider. I would think he's going to be pitching great for another, you know, well, let's not put a limit on it. So hope he has a good career. Now, these are the big ones. Also pulled a Julio Rodriguez Ultraviolet. And this looked to be pretty solid all the way around. And like I said, I was able to purchase these Topps Chrome boxes for 25 bucks, And I also pulled a Jordan Walker numbered purple speckled rookie card so i'm definitely sending these in to be graded <laughs> uh, when the fee is nine dollars a card so 